This video is going to go over how to set up the Material Kit WP theme to look like the demo. First thing you want to do is install the WordPress theme and then from Appearance, Themes, you want to make sure that the theme is activated. Another thing that you're going to want to install is in Plugins, make sure that you have this Kirky Toolkit. This is going to give you some extra features in the WP Customizer. We'll go over that in a minute. Once you have the theme activated and this plugin installed, first thing we want to do is go into Pages, Add New. We want to create a page for our home page and set the template to home page. Publish that. And we also want to do the same thing for our blog page. Let's create a page called Blog and Publish. From there, go to Settings, Reading. and we're going to set the front page display to set a static page and our front page is going to be home and our post page is going to be blog. Save those settings and then you can go ahead and look at the front page if you want and you'll see that it doesn't have much to show for. We can change that. So the next thing we want to do is go to appearance customize and we're going to make our theme look exactly like the demo. So let's go to the home page down here and let's go to banner and then we're going to upload an image. So let's select file. I got some images uploaded already. I'm just going to select this one from the demo. Choose that file. Then on our banner text, I'm just going to grab the same code that's in the, in the demo, which is right here. Copy that and put it in here. Save and publish. If you reload the front end of your site, you'll see that it's starting to come along. So let's keep moving right along. Let's go back. Let's go to the call to action. You can see that it's enabled, but there's no text in here. Let's grab the text for that call to action as well. I'm just going to grab this copy right here. And you can put anything you want in here. I'm just going to make it look exactly like the demo. Let's save and publish that. Reload. You can see that it's starting to come together. That's the call to action. Now let's go to the features. And you can see that they're currently disabled. That's why they're not showing down here. So let's enable those. And you'll see that these uh, features start to come up here. You can expand these. You can see that you can put copy. You can select an icon from Font Awesome. You can also set the color that you want it to be and also put the copy in here. So again, we go grab the copy, you can see that says first feature and it's chat and the color is primary. So let's put this in here, change this to chat, change the color to primary, and if we save that, and reload. You see that the features are starting to come in. So we can do that with all these other ones. This one is success and verified user. So all we need to do is we can add a new feature. Verified underscore user success and then add some copy in here. You can see that it's automatically being put there. So you can go through here and add as many features as you want. Let's go ahead and add just one more. It's fingerprint. And the color is danger. So let's add one. Fingerprint. The color is danger. Let's put that copy in here. And you can see that it's being added right there. So let's save and publish that and reload the front end just to make sure it looks great. Let's go back. And the last one here is the contact form. You can see that's currently disabled. Let's go ahead and enable that. Save and publish and reload. You can see that this contact form is added. You can actually also add a copy above the contact form. So I'm going to grab 
this here, put that in here, and you can see that the copy is being added above the contact form. So another thing I want to show you is this form does have validation. If you just submit it without putting anything in there, you see that there's an error. And this email is being sent to whoever is set as the admin email. So that would be in general. And then whoever is this email address is going to be sent to. So we have our home page looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and set up the menus. I've created uh, menu areas for both the footer and the header. So if we go to appearance menus, you can go in here and create menus if you want. Let's create that menu and I'm just going to add two pages to it. And I'll set it as both the primary and the footer so you can get it knocked out in one thing. You can set different menus up for each area, but when you reload here, you can see that the primary menu is up here and the footer menu is down here. The next thing we do is set up social icons. So back into appearance, customize. We can go into a footer and social icons and this is kind of like the feature area where you just you know create whatever icon you want to use from Font Awesome and then the full path so another we could set up another one and call it Twitter and then put in your handle to whatever your Twitter account is save and publish you can see that they just start lining up you also notice that there's copyright and if you don't have anything in the copyright this will automatically show up so if you want to change it you know, you can just put whatever you want down there and automatically be changed to whatever your you know, site title might be. Pretty slick. All right, so let's save and publish that. Get out of here. The next thing, let's create some posts for our blog. So add new. Um, demo post and let's just add some copy in here to add a lot and then I'm going to in visual you can actually click this little button here and it'll add the read more and let's go ahead and set a featured image for this as well let's grab this image here set that um, we can also set some tags Demo, blog, categories as well, but just for now, let's publish that. And from our home page, we go into blog. You can see that the demo post is here. And if you actually go into read more, you can see that the featured image is being added up here. It uses the title from the post up here. It has the content, of course, the tags that you use, and you can leave a comment, or whoever can leave a comment. You may have noticed back on the blog page that this is blank up here. We can change, we can give that a, an image and whatever title we want to give it back into the customizer, appearance, customize, go into blog, you can upload an image here, select the file, let's go ahead and select that one, and we name this is our blog. You can also enable and disable the tags. If you don't want them to just show up right here, you can disable them as well. So let's save and publish that, and reload our blog page, which is this. And you can see that the image showed up, but our, our copy is a little uh, not styled. And that's because it needs to be wrapped in an H1 tag. We need to also need to add a class in here. 
class equals title and we also want a text center save that and publish and there we go I didn't put this in the actual WordPress theme because I figured people may want to add their own styling or you know use an h2 instead of an h1 so I left that in there so now we have our blog set up I showed you how to create the post and you can click the read more it goes into the actual post the last thing you can do is just create a simple um, default page layout so from the WordPress dashboard just go into pages all pages and I'll just edit the sample page here and I want to give it a background of course set that it's already got content in here so we can update that and if we go into and view this page you can see that the default page just lists the content that you have there and the image up top so that's a quick video that goes over how to set up material kit WP be sure to head over to mvpwp.com and check out more extensions, plugins, and themes that go along with this. Thanks.